guys i hope you're doing great today really i do hope you're doing great right now we're getting rain on the outside but i'm loving it because i have put some seeds in and so that's a good thing because it doesn't matter how much you water when the rain falls on your seeds that's a different thing so i am in the studio and i want us to get real talking about whether or not it makes sense right to sew your own fitted sheets i do have two videos on the channel one tells you how to calculate fabric for your pillowcases and for one tells you how to calculate fabric for your flat sheet now those two things i think are straightforward and they're not difficult they're not very technical to do right so i think they're worth it but is it worth it to DIY your fitted sheet? Before you DIY your fitted sheets or decide to DIY your fitted sheets, I need you guys to ask yourself five questions. Number one, am I using a specific fabric with specific content and uh, pattern and colors? to coordinate with the existing elements in the room number two even if i am can i get something in store that will coordinate nicely with the other elements i already have existing in the room number three how much is the fabric going to cost me and that will depend on how much fabric do I need to make this fitted sheet? Now, a king size bed can run you anywhere from eight yards of fabric. And that depends on the width of the fabric. If you get sheeting fabric, which is generally 118 inches wide, you are fine. You don't have to worry about um, putting panels together but if you get anything less than that then you will have to think about the fact that you will have to put panels together in order to make your fitted sheet and mm, you want those joints to be or at least to look intentional you don't want it to look like i didn't have enough fabric or i have to join panels together because it's different from doing a window treatment right and you put panels together this is a sheet that is there on your bed that's visible so you want it to look intentional if you have to join those panels that's when the fabric is gonna run you up because you will need at least two widths of fabric so find out how much fabric will i need to make this fitted sheet and don't forget that you will also need the elastic to go either just on the corner of the sheet or all the way around depending on how you want to do it mm, well elastic's not that expensive but it's also an added cost <laughs> number five how much can I buy a fitted sheet for in store? Now, I suggest that if you can get a fitted sheet for under 20, 25 bucks, then I think it might just be worth your while to buy the sheet instead of trying to DIY. It will save you time and money. Now, what do you guys that's what i think but what do you guys think please let me know in the comment now a subscriber actually asked about making a fitted sheet with a piece of fabric that she bought the fabric is 90 inches wide and she wants to make um fitted sheet for a king bed and she bought four yards of fabric but what i am going to do is actually do a video to show you guys 
how to calculate the fabric you will need if you still decide to do your fitted sheet and you have to join panels and i'll also show you how you can join the panels to make them look intentional guys thank you so much i appreciate you immensely for taking the time to subscribe to ask questions and to leave encouraging remarks on uh, some of the videos. Please keep watching, sharing, commenting, and liking. And if you have watched this video and you haven't subscribed as yet, go ahead, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.